This is the day, you guys. Let's get ready. One, two, three. Hey, now. All right, I'm in the middle of uh, painting. And I wanted to show you guys something. Uh, and I want to thank the dude, I forgot his name. Um, but there's a guy that recommended, for people who paint outside, he recommended getting some of this stuff. And these are like little sheets, little sanding sheets. And then it goes on this little sponge. I already used this one. And uh, I'm in between the second and third coat right now. It's Velcroed, it Velcros onto this little sponge. So it's very soft. You're not gonna gouge anything, but you can see here, I've been um, taken off. Like I just, I, of course I'm outside. So I'm getting a lot of little stuff, little nibs, which I would totally expect. Um, but I also had some fish eyes. I mean, for lunch, not in the paint. No, I'm in the paint. I had some fish eye which freaked me out because I'm very meticulous about preparations. I don't know what, I don't know why I got the fish eye, but um, I try to deal with that. Some of it's going on great. I mean, look at that. That almost doesn't even need sanding or polish. But um, some of the areas just have been a little problematic. Unfortunately, this area right here, I had to do some touch up and sanding before I do the final third or maybe fourth coat I might go over I might go over it a fourth time uh, a lot of this is looking really good though very happy with this um, and you know it makes sense too because I'm just getting mostly the nibs and weird stuff is are in these semi flat like the flat areas and then the semi flat areas the tops of the fenders and stuff which is to be expected So I'm gonna hit this with another, at least one more coat. This is two coats, like I said, and it's covered pretty well. I would say everything is color covered at this point. I spent a lot of time getting in all these little spaces, all the wheel wells, getting up here. You gotta go directly on there, up there, getting inside there. So I, I spent a lot of time getting into all the little nooks and crannies. I think there's about twice as many crannies as there are nooks, but I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. I just wanted to show you guys how it's coming. Uh, so my plan is between this third and fourth uh, coat is to go around the car with this 800 lemon sheet job pack. It's 800 and um, you take down those nibs and then clean it up, you know, um, tack it off and go for the third coat. Well guys, I'm taking a break because apparently it's just too hot today. And the paint, uh, the solvents are not gassing out. It's there, it's everything's hardening up too fast and I'm getting bubbles, damn it. Uh, this didn't happen with the test, but the reducer is a medium slow and it's like 80 degrees out here right now. So, I mean, maybe it would, it could work, but it's not, I'm really disappointed. Um, but you know, took a chance and, uh, I, I'm going to wait till later. I mean, this is the second coat, so I'm okay. I just have a lot of work to do. I got, a. uh, can you see those? I gotta get in there and now I've gotta sand down all these little bubbles and hopefully it'll be okay. I don't know. I mean, I'm really, I'm really kind of bummed right now that this didn't just go on and be good, but such is the life of a driveway restorer. So um, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna let this stop. <laughs> I'm going to go around with the 800, maybe, maybe 600 grit and knock all these bubbles down. And then I'm going to shoot it when it's cooler, like 70. 
I'll shoot it with hopefully just one more coat and that'll do it. Maybe, maybe I have to do two, I don't know, but then it's getting kind of thick. So I'm just gonna clean my equipment. I'm gonna jump in the swimming pool and just hope I can rescue this paint job. See you later. Okay, I had some lunch, had a swim, and I addressed the issue. So I think what happened with the little bubbles, because um, they weren't everywhere. They were just in certain spots. And I noticed they were in spots that I had painted last. And what I think happened was my air hose got um, some water in it. You know, I was painting a lot. I've got stuff on the side yard too. And I was just painting, 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 painting. And I think um, even though I have a big uh, water filter at the at the compressor, and then I had a little one on the handle, I think they just got, they just got overwhelmed. So I think it was water. And the good news is that, so that the little bubbles, it wasn't the gassing issue, it wasn't gassing out, um, it was the water. And I think it was just on the last layer. So I was able, you see here, this, this had all kinds of bubbles. This had some bubbles. So I was able to uh, sand them out. So what I've done is I've gone over, gone around. Um, I hit it, hit this with 600 wet or 400 wet, either one. I got this all smoothed out. I had some stuff here, but I pretty much took care of everything. Took care of all the little bubble issues. All so it sanded it down. So now. I'm just gonna wipe this off again, get my paint back out. I'm gonna wait till, I'm gonna wait a little minute for things to just get down to the 70s. And then I'm gonna hit this whole thing again. And that'll be the third coat. And that should be good, should be enough. And I'm just gonna focus on the main areas. I've got all the wheel wells and everything, got all the underneath. I, I went around the, the bottom a few times. You know, I got in here, up in here, got the, the front, uh, this area, I went in, did a lot of detail work. I went and did all around, you know, I hit all these edges a couple times. I have to clean them up now because I have uh, some uh, sanding powder on there. But I'll, I'll wipe the car down. Oh, now I feel here, see a little, couple little things. But I'll wipe the car down and then I'm going to, um, yeah, I'm just gonna spray it again. And I think we should be good. I will report back. So I'm, I'm kind of relieved. I mean, it's always scary to have an issue in the middle of painting. But, um, you know, obviously in my situation here, I gotta do what I gotta do. All right, check back soon. All right, this was a long process, but the Corvette has paint. What a relief. This was not easy, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I struggled through this, but I made it. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the result so far. It's gonna get some sanding and buffing and everything, of course, but what a journey. It's like seven hours later. <laughs>